so you're one of the very few guys I know uh, across the business ecosystem, uh, startups or corporates, who is essentially always evangelizing this theme of fitness. And you've spoken about it early that why is it important, right? And um, I remember uh, some time back, you reached out to me and said, like, look, we got to build a wellness program for zero the customers. I've never heard or come across any founder or executive uh, so concerned about their end customers. And for for a company of your scale, you have millions of users, right? And you coming up and say that, look, we have to do some wellness program for zero the users. And you're someone who have uh, no vested interest. Like, I mean, you're not selling a fitness package or anything. Uh, why is it important for you that and I, I will talk about employees later, but why is it important for you all the time to talk about fitness? And uh, generally, why why do you want people around you to be fit? I mean, see, firstly, it's it's the right thing for them, right? And and it's also the right thing for the business, you know. And because if you think, as I said, if you have a long term, long enough horizon, you'll understand why your customers being healthy is good for you as a business, right? As in, you know, if 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 our customers are healthy, you know, I mean there'll be, you know, chance of them being healthier financially as, as well increases because usually, you know, a health incident is really the biggest event that causes people towards financial ruin of sorts, you know. So, so if people are healthy, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, of course, you know, if you think about one, one month, two months, et cetera, it may not seem like it. But if I, if I think about, say, we have 11 million customers mm -hmm. and if I think, you know, if a large portion of this audience, you know, this, this customer base were healthier, I know that eventually we will end up doing well as a business in some way as well, you know. And uh, so it's kind of a, I think it's a no-brainer, you know, I mean. And I, I don't know, I mean, and I'm sure you're not doing this just because you are in the financial business where, of course, there's a lot of stress. You're generally posting about health and fitness. I mean, I mean you went for a trek, you'll make a post about that. Uh, you know, you, you, you did something in your workout, you'll make a post about that. So you're essentially always imagining, and often, I'm not sure about others, but uh, uh, before I had got in touch with you a few years back, I was confused that, you know, you had a, probably a side business of doing something <laughs> in health and fitness. Right? I mean, why is this guy constantly talking about health and fitness, right? Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, think, I think, like I said, I think very people don't give enough time and attention towards their health and more people should give it. You know, it, uh, I think, yeah, I think, I think the, the good thing about life to do is really to do stuff without expectations, you know I mean? Then, um, like I said, you know, I mean, even, even personally, if you had a look fit goal, you know, it's tough to stick to it. You know, when you do things without expectations, it's just a lot more fulfilling the, the journey of life itself. So, yeah, I think, I think I say it because it's, people need to hear about it, you know, and, uh, and I've realized that as, um, my financial position, you know, has improved in life. People yeah. kind of give more importance to what I say today, right? right. right. You know, so it's, uh, so I have kind of almost like a responsibility today to yeah. say something. Because now that I know that people listen to me just because of whatever valuations and all of that, you know, and success of Zerodha. So I have a responsibility in saying things that maybe people will listen to.